I am here on the Rittenberg on the Wolfsgrabensee uh, up ahead you can see a little bit now of the Dolomites they're kind of hidden in clouds and I'm hoping that over the course of the day the clouds will clear out and I also discovered that despite my best efforts I'm still having some rubbing along here with the derailleur so I figured out which gears that happens in and I will just need to avoid them until I swap that tire with the one in the front. This area here might be what's called the Rosengarten. I can get a look over there and up towards the Saisa Alm. But I will say it's a bit unnerving. A little bit of traffic. Riding with one pannier today, and that load does make things just a little bit crazy. And then, of course, I have the issue with a couple gears where the derailleur in the back is rubbing that I just discovered now, and I should have been watching for. And I'll have to swap the front and rear tire tonight, but. I don't get run over or blown off the mountain. This is definitely a ride that's worth it.
So, wir sind äh, nicht weit von den Erdpyramiden. We're not far from the uh, Earth Pyramids. Und auch nicht weit von die Berge. And also not far from the mountains. So back there, I don't think you can see the clouds in this, and also right around in there. Those are officially the Dolomites and this little bit here as well. And that's all back around the Saisa Alm. And uh, on the other side of that would be Cortino d'Ampezzo, where I'll be in a couple of weeks. This is as close as I plan to go to the Ant Pyramid and I'm sure there's a hiking trail that will take you right up to them or something like that. But it's very style, it's very steep. But one can know the Alpen Panorama genießen. One can still enjoy the view of the Alps. This must be the third video I have made in this spot, but wow. It's a hard spot to leave. So, heute bin ich hier in Oberbotzen gestartet und dann irgendwo unten nach Klobenstein und dann nach Lengmos und da sind die Erdpyramiden und muss jetzt hier und da und da und endlich da und dann oben nach unten am Eisock zurück nach Bozen. I don't know how anyone manages to finish a bike ride up here in daylight. I keep stopping and Taking pictures, it's all of the same thing, but it's very beautiful same thing. I thought I took video of this, but... These are the Earth Pyramids that I took pictures of before. There was a little bit describing how they formed, how the combination of soft and hard material, and the soft material soft material gets washed away by rain and the hard material gets hardened by drought until eventually enough erodes away that they fall over.
same mountains again, I know. I'm just outside of Lengstein. And I just came down actually from probably more up in there. Yeah. My brakes are getting a little bit on the in fact no. Yeah, okay. You see that church? Up well, okay, let's try that again. There, up there. That church up there is where I just was and I descended all the way from there down to here. And I'm glad I wasn't riding in the other direction because the other direction would not have been pleasant. So once the brakes cool down then I'll head into Langstein and see bit to eat and also a bathroom. restroom if you turn off the main street right by the church and come down by the fire station and the school on the back of the school here in this little indent on the back of the school by the library is actually that rarest of rare things in Germany, of the Austria and Italy, a public restroom. And then when you finish your business, you can come and enjoy this nice Alpen panorama. And of course, you will enjoy it more because you no longer have to pee. Biohof vorbei.
Penzelhof. Und hier kommt ein Auto. Das ist nicht schlimm. Descending from the top of the Witten mountain for what feels like a long time. And I'm still around 2600 feet high. And I have to get down. Down there. Tal. And I just don't. Don't pop it too. It's beautiful. It's a shame. What goes up? eventually goes down and when I get to Barbion it's really going to go down I'm at 2763 feet right now according to my GPS and I am not looking forward to the upfart the descent
found the uh, second public restroom in this area. This is a school and I'm really rather impressed by the view. I'd be okay with being educated here. Anyway, ye, off the main road, there's a little side street that comes up here. Just splits off the main road kind of in downtown by the church. It goes past the bakery and past the Rathaus. And then you come to the Grundschule. And if you go down these stairs and back around the corner here, next to this uh, stage area, there is actually a bathroom there. But anyway, nice view. I'm roughly halfway down the uh, 417 and the four uh, curves coming down from Barbion down into there into the valley down by the Autobahn and uh, stopped at a bus stop right now. I have to stop about halfway down each curve because I don't want to take any chances with uh, the rims overheating, they're getting pretty hot to the touch. It's pretty steep and uh, I don't want to blow a tube because I had one blow uh, just sitting in the hot sun in my driveway before I left for the trip. So I'm chicken, I don't want to die on a trip. I'm, I'd, I'd rather play it safe. I've made it far enough to now be at the top of the power lines. Maybe a quarter of the way through the second of the four turns. It's still very beautiful, and my rooms are still a little warmer than I'd like. Sometimes they get borderline scalding hot, so I'm trying to avoid that. I have finally made it to the uh, Astacada. The first curve, and now people don't look like uh, Ameisen ants anymore. But this is a nice castle. Uh, not my not my favorite biking experience. So if I do ride on the Yanaisian the other mountain, the other side of Oatsen, I will definitely Okay, that, that looks way too easy. It looks like he's not even trying. I should get a new bike. Uh, I definitely will take the Zylbon back down because I've walked probably about half of the way and ridden the brakes the rest of the way because, well, I'm chicken. Hello, I am finally down at the bottom of the of the Serpentine Street from Barbion, and uh, now I'm back on the Isaac Tal Radvik, which I rode yesterday, and this time this part I know will be a nice easy ride. So hopefully it won't take the uh, 
four hours or whatever it took for me to uh, get from Obobotsen to uh, Barbion and down the Four Serpentine. And it, it was definitely the longest it's taken me to do that kind.